Cicadas are starting to make noise in the Commonwealth after a cool start to May. This warmer weather is welcoming the brood 10 cicadas. Mm, are we all excited <laughs> for that? Allie Blake talked to entomologists at the University of Kentucky to find out what we can expect. Now that we've warmed up into spring, soil temperatures have reached above 64 degrees, meaning that Brudex cicadas are starting to emerge all across the bluegrass. That we'll see them associated more with areas that have rivers or streams or creeks. We know that the counties we expect the heaviest emergence in are near the Ohio River. And I know that I have found five in my backyard here in Fayette County. That's Jonathan Larson, extension entomologist at the University of Kentucky, who says that these insects are nothing to worry about. Periodical cicadas are not disease vectors. It's a good question. We always want to make sure that people are healthy and hardy. And these ones, they don't bite or sting people, so there's nothing public health-wise that we're worried about. For the health of our furry friends, though, the bugs can pose an issue. A few here and there, if they nab them while you're out walking, they're going to be fine. But if they, if they go in the backyard and they just eat a whole pile of them, it would be the same that would happen to you if you did that with a bunch of tacos. Trees are another place that can be taken hostage by cicadas. The female wants to lay her eggs in the twigs and branches of those trees. A big tree that's been around 10, 20 years, it has lots of branches, it has lots of leaves, it's going to be able to go through this process and not really suffer any ill effects. The smaller the tree, the more likely it is to suffer sort of catastrophic amounts of damage. Scientists hope if you start to see the cicadas in your backyard that you'll report them to your local extension office and also on a cicada tracking app. That can let your neighbors know that they need to start to protect their trees. Allie Blake for the Fox 56 10 o'clock news.